Ecological Niche Modeling Visualization An Example Using Niche A by Luis Escobar One of the challenges of ecological niche modeling is the, the, the use of models, the management of data, and the display of data in environmental space. Studies are generally restricted to thinking in geographic dimensions. More software and tools are necessary to think more in environmental dimensions. When referring to environmental dimensions, we can think in a single environmental dimension, one dimension, for example, temperature. Here we have temperature, the range of temperature in terms of the occurrence points, the ecological niche model, and the environmental background in the study area or M region in the BAM diagram. This kind of plots can be done in niche A software that is the base of this presentation. This is a model done in two dimensions. We have three species here, one in the center, in the north center, in the south and in the north, denoted as convex holes and they are displayed in the background or the environmental space available for the species. We can also work in multiple dimensions. These are plots showing three dimensions, ellipsoids of three species or the models of three species in the environmental background or the cloud of environmental conditions available for the species. And here we have two lineages of a species that shows also the overlap or the similarity of the two models. This plot shows the occurrence points of one species, three populations of the same species, which can be also be displayed in the environmental space using two dimensions or three dimensions. See that when you add a, a third dimension, all the overlap that you can see in two dimensions disappears. So the species do not overlap when more dimensions are included. Niche A. This is the story of Niche A. And it was developed by Hugh Chiechal when he was doing a postdoctoral work in uh, Peterson's and Soberon's laboratories in the University of Kansas. The idea was to develop um, software or a method to develop in a virtual species in different uh, environmental scenarios and link the geographic space with the environmental space. The project was concluded in 2016 with the publication of the paper that proposes niche A software to work with real and virtual species in multiple real or virtual, virtual environmental scenarios linking geography and environmental dimensions. The authors, the authors of that publications are Yuchi Chao, Townsend Peterson, Lindsay Campbell, Jorge Soberon, Lea Yang Ji, and Luis Escobar in the journal Ecography. The potential users of niche A are, for example, managers that need to develop ecological niche models to take decisions and need a correct interpretation of the models in environmental space. Also, researchers that develop theory and methods for ecological niche models and are advanced in the theory or teachers or professors that want to show ecological niche theory to undergraduate or graduate students, or also users that work in these three uh, scenarios. Things that we can do with niche A include the development of an environmental space that we call the background cloud, create a species, a niche, based on data that we can invent or, or simulate, or 
species information from occurrence points. We can also project that information uh, to develop models in other software like Maxent. We, call, we can see the max and outputs or the outputs of other algorithms in each A, and we can evaluate the models using classic or novel evaluation tools. Then after model evaluation and model selection, we can develop thresholds to see again the final models in each A. To create the background or the environmental space, we can use original variables that sometimes you need to standardize for a better visualization, for example, temperature or precipitation or remote sensing data, or you can develop a principal component analysis to reduce the number and correlation between the original variables. We will not discuss principal component analysis here. The use of original variables for example, sometimes show clusters of information when variables are correlated. So sometimes you will need to develop a variable standardization or no normalization to have a better display of the background. This shows a three-dimensional background. You can also develop a niche model based on parameters, physiological parameters of tolerances to different variables like temperature or precipitation. You can develop models in each A based on models from other ecological niche modeling algorithms like Maxet or GARP. You can develop your own models based on occurrences using convex polyhedrons or minimum volume ellipsoids. You can design barriers in geographic space and then see how that applies to the environmental space. You can use occurrences and you can import ellipsoids from other studies using niche A. If you want to download and learn more about niche A, please go to this website where you can find all the information necessary related to the theory and the use of the niche A software. First, if you would like to install niche A, go to programs and check the Java versions that you have. We suggest to uninstall all the Java you have in order to add a new Java that can handle three dimensions. The different steps that you need to follow are in the website in which you can learn more about niche A and how the niche A environment works and the different applications of niche A. Here, for example, you can see that we provide um, a mirror site to download the Java package that you will need to work with niche A. And also uh, the different versions of, for, of niche A for Windows, for Mac, or for Linux. So you can download and install Java as the first step to install niche A. Then install R and install the different packages of R in order to make analysis and display data. We suggest to copy the directory or the path to R. This is an example of the path to run R directly from niche A. Copy that path and save it. Then download and install niche A according to the Windows version or the operate system that you have in your computer. Generally, it takes just a few minutes to download niche A. Install niche A and open, for example, the niche A dot bat. 
NicheA by default is installed in program files. We are currently in version 3.01 of NicheA. Double click in the NicheA.bat to open this window and see if you already have the different paths to the different software that work with NicheA, including R. If for some reason NicheA has a problem, you are going to see this message once you open NicheA. So just click OK and you will see that NicheA is failing to link with R. So for, if you remember the path, just paste the path in the R script path in NicheA. Click OK, and you will be able to work in the NicheA environment. You can change from black to white scenario. And also, you can use your mouse to interact with the NicheA space. For example, you can rotate the scenario, moving your mouse, clicking the left button, rotate the scenario for a good inspection of your data. You can zoom in and zoom all your data by using the left click of your mouse and moving it up and down. Finally, you can move the centroid of the scenario by using the right click of your mouse and press Alt and move your mouse. can create your own background by developing a principal component analysis of your original environmental variables using R, which can be done directly using each A. First, go to Toolbox, Background, Principal Component Analysis. You will see this window and in this window, you need to add the original variables to estimate the principal component, the principal components. If you want to transfer that principal component to future climate conditions or different geographic areas, you need to select the different geographic areas or the different periods here using the same names of the raster you will use for the present day. Add your, uh, add your rasters. You will see a window like this with the folder of the original variables. Select the variables you want to use. They should be in T file or ASCII files. Select using Shift. Open them. And then if you don't have future climates that you would like to explore, don't select anything here. Save, uh, select a folder to save your data. Save it. Check that is the correct path and click OK. Then R will develop the principal component analysis using your rasters. And oh no, we have a mistake here. There is an error. This window is empty which shows that something is wrong. It could be that you don't have R 
installed correctly or that there are some packages in R that you were unable to install correctly. So you could go to the troubleshooting in niche A or could go to the folder where you have the outputs and you should have something like this in which you have an R script of the analysis. Open that in R and you can check what's going on in R directly. In this case, you don't have enough memory to develop the analysis. Maybe your computer is small and you have big rasters. So the first option is to buy a new computer or increase the memory of your computer following the instructions in each A website. Great. Now the analysis are performing well and you can see the results from the principal components. You can also check the folder with the results and you can see all the different new components from the original rasters and you can see a summary of the information in the HTML and you can see a folder name background that you need to use to develop your environmental cloud in niche A. So go to niche A, go to tools, background data, draw background from cloud if you are going to use the folder from the principal components or select in the individual files using this option. So if you will open the folder, go to the folder of the PCA, open the background folder and you will see this. Click OK and you are able, you are ready to work in niche A. This is the environmental space from the background folder, which uh, means that you have three principal components, principal component one, two, and three. You can develop a model using original occurrences, going to tool, toolbox, niche simulation, and generate a niche from occurrences. Go to select the folder, where you have the CSV geographic coordinates for your species. In this case, my uh, species name is Guatemala. Select uh, the folder to save it. Check that everything is correct. Click OK. And you will be able to open the new file, go into file, open niche, and then select the folder that niche A creates and you will see that this folder contains these different files. One PNG of the uh, occurrences of the species in, and also a TIFF file with the occurrences of the species that you can open in a GIS software. You can also have the origin, you can also see the original geographic coordinates and the new coordinates that niche A is generating in environmental space you will see three, co three uh, coordinates for each um, point in terms of component one, component two, and component three, for example, of the environmental space. Open the folder, and you will be able to select the color of the points, in this case, red, the convex polyhedron, in this case, green, and the minimum volume ellipsoid, in this case, blue, which you can see here. You can also hide the minimum volume ellipsoid to see only the convex hole. Be sure to check the website for more information about the different functions and different tools that you can use in each A, how to install each A, and how to solve questions. The main questions and the, the main errors that uh, users can have uh, are summarized here in frequent, frequent asked questions uh, section. This course will include a sample data set so you can open a, a background folder and open a set of occurrence points in each A. Thank you.